I'm Jim Carey, Executive Director of the New Jersey Lottery. We're here at the Corner Express Mart in Lawrence, New Jersey. And first, I would like to thank Cam Mode of the Corner Express Mart for having the New Jersey Lottery here today. Uh, we're here to start our Not 18 Yet, No Bet annual awareness campaign to remind people that children should not be playing lottery games. So we're really grateful to Cam for having us here today. And we're grateful to all the New Jersey lotteries more than 6,800 retailers. Our retailers are the public face of the lottery. They not only sell our tickets, but they provide customer service and education to our employees and our customers. They regularly help out customers and help sell games. As part of their services that they provide to us, they make sure that people under the age of 18 are not allowed to purchase lottery tickets. In fact, Lottery retailers that have a self-service machine in their store also have a button behind the counter that they can press to prevent an underage player from purchasing a lottery ticket. The New Jersey Lottery has a strong commitment to responsible gaming and prevention of underage gambling every day of the year, not just in September. In fact, the World Lottery Association has awarded the New Jersey Lottery its level four accreditation, a distinction that is uh, achieved by demonstrating complete adherence to the association's responsible gaming framework. The World Lottery Association is recognized as a global authority on responsible gaming and betting sections requiring gaming organizations to uphold the highest ethical principles. Annually, the New Jersey Lottery partners with the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey to raise awareness that the law in New Jersey prevents anyone under the age of 18 from gambling or purchasing lottery tickets. To remind residents about the age restriction, the lottery holds its annual Not 18 Yet, No Bet campaign throughout the month of September. We pick September because it's back to school month and everybody's children are on their minds. It's a good time to remind people that children are not supposed to play the lottery. Don't gift tickets to kids. Don't encourage kids to play. It's not for kids. Today's event highlights this campaign and the partnership that exists between the lottery and the Council of Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey. The Council is an organization that works every day to educate about the dangers of underage gambling and inappropriate gambling in any form and works with people to help address problem gambling. As part of our campaign, the Lottery is supplementing our ongoing responsible play initiatives. We're using social media as a tool to inform residents of the Not 18 Yet No Bet campaign. You'll see it on our web page, on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page, even on Twitter. <laughs> It includes the Lottery's Facebook page, the Lottery's Responsible Play page, which is on our website. The Not 18 Yet No Bet logo and message is featured on the digital terminal screens at all of our retailers, and it's highlighted during the month of September. There's increased emphasis on the Not 18 Yet No Bet message at our Lottery Speaker Bureau events in September. And in addition, we've crafted an advertisement that includes the messaging, not quite yet, Lottery is not for anyone under the age of 18. We're conducting a statewide redistribution of the Not 18 Yet No Bet brochure. It's in English and Spanish, and it helps retailers and reminds players that you have to be at least 18 to play the lottery. The brochure provides information about the major types of teenage betting and signs to recognize that could indicate a problem with gambling with teenagers or with anyone. It's available at all registered lottery retail locations in the state, and it's on our website. The lottery has maintained a long-standing cooperative relationship with the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey, and we continue to support the important mission of the Council. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Felicia Grondon, Executive Director of the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, Jim. As Jim stated, my name is Felicia Grondon and I'm Executive Director for the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey. I'd like to thank the New Jersey Lottery and the Corner Express Mart for hosting this event and uh, to highlight the importance of increasing awareness of underage gambling via the Not 18 Yet No Bet campaign. The Council collaborates with the Lottery by educating the public about underage gambling of any kind and by heightening awareness of this issue via the Not 18 Yet No Bet initiative. We also partner with the Lottery 
for the Holloway, uh, Holiday Prevention Campaign, which discourages the gifting of lottery tickets to children during the giving season. We are grateful to the lottery's ongoing commitment to responsible gaming and congratulate them for the well-deserved rewards they've received from the World Lottery Association and the National Association on Problem Gambling. With the expanding gambling culture, excessive advertising, and increased online access in New Jersey and throughout the country, it is more important than ever to encourage parents to discourage underage gambling of any kind. Research has shown that if a child engages in an addictive behavior, they are more likely to develop an addiction as an adult. Efforts such as the Not 18 Yet No Vet campaign help to support the Council's message as we continue to educate children about gambling and related risks and encourage them to abstain from gambling until they are 18 years old. This year, the Council celebrated our 40th anniversary, which was commemorated with a gala this past June. Over the last four decades, the Council has continued to educate the public, train professionals throughout the state, refer problem and disordered gamblers and their families to support groups, treatment providers, resources, and advocate for increased services for problem and disordered gamblers and their families. While the Council neither endorses nor opposes legalized gambling, we take positions on issues associated with gambling in the best interest of problem and disordered gamblers and their families. However, the Council does oppose all forms of illegal gambling, especially when engaged by children and teens. As a result, we're happy to participate in a wonderful partnership with the Lottery via the Not 18 Yet No Bet program and a variety of other prevention campaigns. This past spring, the Council launched the Cognitive Perspective Restructuring Program, we call CPR, to at-risk youth. CPR is an evidence-based program which instills confidence in our kids and has benefits that extend beyond the classroom. It is designed to help parents, educators, and community stakeholders cultivate self-awareness in adolescence and identify the risk factors that can contribute to youth falling into addictive or other self-destructive behaviors, including gambling. In a few weeks, the Council will host our annual statewide conference on September the 28th, which, is, which will focus on why our services are needed more, now more than ever. And anyone wishing to attend should visit our website at 800gambler.org to register or to view sponsorship opportunities. I encourage you all to visit 800gambler.org to learn more about the Council and about the problem gambling and how we can help. Or better yet, give us a call at 800gambler. We're here to listen, share resources, ongoing support and treatment 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And please remember, if you or a member of your family struggle with a problem gambling, you're not alone. The Council on Compulsive Gambling is here to provide support, treatment, and hope. And I'd just like to thank the New Jersey Lottery again for enabling us to participate in this important annual awareness campaign. So thank you very much, Felicia. Thank you, it's Jim. It's always a pleasure to work with you and the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey. It's very important work that they do, and it's very important to the New Jersey Lottery to be a part of that and to be a supporter of your work. And we appreciate your support. <laughs> so, so every year at the end of the conference, we always provide Felicia and the Council with copies of our Not 18 Yet oh, No Bet brochure great. and pencils that include the message, Lottery is not child's play and lottery is not for people under the age of 18. Awesome. So thank you very much for thank helping you. us. It's always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure, Jim. Thank you so much. Thank you.